Welcome back to Go Winnipeg and Ballet in the Park, July 29th to 31st. Tickets are free. You can't get much of a better deal than that. And with us now, one of the many dancers you'll see at Ballet in the Park. This is Keaton Lear. Keaton, thank you so much for joining us here today. Keaton's from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, he's also a member of the RWB's professional uh, division school there. So Keaton, first of all, tell us how long you've been at RWB for and what have your experiences been like? Well, this is going to be my third year at RWB and all the experience has been pretty great so far. It's like a great training program and it's really awesome. Um, there's lots of opportunities that they, the school here provides for us. It's really good training. You're going to be part of a show at Ballet in the Park called The Fairy Doll. What are you most excited to show people with that performance? Well, the good thing about live performance is it's just everybody's there. It's so much like the build up and the energy is awesome and it's just going to be great to show and show off technique and just all that kind of stuff and perform. For sure. I'm, you know what, I imagine Ballet in the Park is kind of a cool thing for you guys to do. It's a unique setting. It's not every day you're out here performing at a Cinnabon Park like this. What do you think the best part is about uh, doing Ballet in the Park every year? Well, it's awesome because we always get a great audience because the show is free and everything like that and everybody loves it. We get a lot of different audience members, which is a really great thing, and it's just so cool performing outside in front of this live audience like this, and we don't get a lot of opportunities like that, so that's really great. Hey, Keaton, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck with Ballet in the Park. Remember, July 29th to the 31st, and once you're done attending Ballet in the Park, you can jet out to Gimli for the Icelandic Heritage Festival, July 31st to August 2nd. Shaw TV's Mike Valente has more.